first, I want to say I am so happy with the results that we've seen so far. And I want to say that um, I have every confidence that we will prevail tonight. Twenty-four years ago, when I started as an intern in the district attorney's office, with many of the faces I see here tonight, um, I vowed to stand up for this community and to fight for victims. And as I stand here before you tonight, my commitment to fight for this community and to stand up for victims is unwavering and unchanged. I am here tonight because of the immense support uh, from the volunteers, from my family, and from uh, this community. And I want to just take this opportunity and this moment in time to say thank you so much for turning out and being here tonight. Thank you. Of course, I want to specifically thank uh, my, my amazing wife, Malia, who's over here. My incredible son, Ashton, and my amazing daughter, Cora, who's over here. Their support over the last year has been amazing. This has been a lot of sacrifice on them, and um, it has been a, an Im immense commitment of time and, and away from them. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And of course, um, I want to say to my friends and to my coworkers that are here tonight and have turned out repeatedly, and to those supporters, thank you for all of the hours that you have given. It is, I feel it every single day that I, I knock on all of those doors, so thank you. And, and to those volunteers that have given thousands of hours, knocking on doors, making phone calls, um, putting thousands of stickers on door hangers, all of you, um, you are what carried me forward. You are why we are here tonight. You are why we are on the precipice of, of winning this election. So thank you so much. And briefly, I want to look forward and say, when I'm elected as your DA. I am committed to fulfilling those campaign promises. I'm committed to ending the open-air drug use, to ending the open-air drug dealing that we have suffered from as a community. I'm, I'm committed to working with individuals to connect them to treatment, to helping us get to a safer and healthier community. And I am also committed to restoring that idea that it is okay to hold people accountable and doing it in a compassionate manner. And of course, what is always at the bottom of my heart and what I believe in to my very core is that I am committed that my office will always put victims as its number one priority. Again, I just want to take this opportunity to express my deep, deep appreciation to everyone who has supported me throughout this campaign and to thank the supporters, the voters that have turned out so amazingly so far, um, to Jesse Burke. <laughs> to Stephen, to Stephen Hall, who I know is here as well. And I won't call out my inner team, but my inner team who I'm looking at out in front of me, who've been there every day, countless hours. Thank you. I will leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this. I believe in Multnomah County. I believe in the hope that is before us. And I believe that together we are going to create a community that is safe and a community that we are all proud of. Thank you so much. Woo!